put it down right okay so nothing to worry about it i'll explain all the concept and hope you're going to get it there right okay so let's begin what is uh, so what we are going to discuss here is a chart roadmap uh, in external analysis one we have already discussed that was political the second is the economics so we'll discuss there are microeconomics and macroeconomics in microeconomics we will discuss supply demand price elasticity cost behavior and market types in macroeconomics we'll discuss these economic issues economic growth uh, inflation unemployment balance of payment and what are the government measures like fiscal and policy uh, mo monetary measures and classic classical versus supply side of economics and demand side of economics and expenditure reducing versus expenditure switching strategies so all these uh, concepts along with the details will be covered in the lecture right so let's begin uh, as I told you, we are in continuation of the past analysis, uh, right? So in past analysis, P was discussed in the last lecture that was political and today we will discuss E, the external analysis that is economic factors, right? And then in the uh, next lecture, we will discuss S and T, social factors and technological factors, right? So in this we will discuss the, we will assess the economic factors that what these factors are and how they are going to affect your business. So to understand it, you must first understand what is economics and what are its major determinants that will affect the business, right? Okay, so what do you think, what is economics? Have you ever heard this word, economics? Obviously you would have. So what comes into your uh, mind, right? Okay. Yes, economics is basically, it, it can be defined in number of ways, right? A lot of definitions have been given, so we will not go into details of all those definitions. Rather, we will just uh, try to focus on the concept of what economics basically is. So, one of the definitions that was given by Adam Smith was that it is all about the wealth creation, like it's all about production, consumption, distribution and exchange of wealth. Uh, but it's a little obsolete definition, you see, uh, uh, you can say the, net, the latest is that the economics is a study of how society allocates its scarce resources which have alternative uses between competing ends. Now what does it mean? It's a little uh, confusing, right? Economics is basically a science which helps you or the society in allocation of the resources which are less right scarce means which is the availability is less right so economics is a social science which deals with how society allocates its resources uh, so that it can achieve maximum number of uh, so can it it can satisfy maximum number of wants and achieve maximum satisfaction right so in short that if you have hundred dollar so how can you allocate this hundred dollars so that you can satisfy more wants like one person is satisfying one want with the hundred dollar another is satisfying five six different wants so we'll say that he or she is able to allocate uh, his resources or her resources in a better way so it will help you it teaches you it guides you to uh, like uh, allocate your resources which are less in numbers which are very scarce scarce means which is available in less quantity all the people are having less resources you know, even we are in comparison of their wants that they want to satisfy right so and these resources can be used for different purposes alternative uses and so there are so many wants ends means wants we have so many wants that we want to satisfy so with hundred dollar you can buy a book with you can buy a you can food for yourself or you can buy a cd you can buy you can pay a metro train ticket or anything, right? You can do so many things with that $100, right? So it's up to you that how you are going to allocate. Similarly, for the government, they have certain amount of budget, certain amount of uh, revenue. So the, how they are going to allocate it, how much to spend on education, how much to spend on health, how much to spend on development purposes. So it's, and similarly for the business, they have again a certain amount of money that is capital so they have to decide that how much to spend on advertisement how much to spend on finance and hr or production and logistics and all these things right so it's in short it helps us economics helps us that how uh, to know that how society allocates its resources 
uh, in a better way so that we ca they can satisfy more number of wants. So there are two branches of economics. In fact, there are a number of branches of economics, but here we will be concerned with the two major categories. One is micro and the other is macro. So simply micro means small, right? As the name clarifies, micro means small. So it's that branch of the economics which deals with the behavior of individual consumers or individual firms or individual industries so in when we are discussing individuals like a person like a firm or like an industry so it's one industry one firm or you can say one person so we say they are talking about the individuals so we will see that uh, that comes under the discussion of macroeconomics when we are discussing macroeconomics so macro means macro means large big m a c r right it means big so when we are or the large right so uh, uh, when we talk about the aggregates the, when we talk about the totality when we talk about the economy as a whole the country as a whole so that comes under the discussion of macroeconomics so it consider the behavior aggregate behavior it study the sum of individual and now not the individual but the sum of individual economic decisions so it in short it is to study economy as a whole so micro means small and when we discuss the part of an economy that comes under the discussion of microeconomics and when we discuss the economy as a whole like what is the overall unemployment in the uh, in a country right so this is the macroeconomic issue but when you talk about the demand or the supply of any good or, uh, or any market so then we are discussing or talking about the microeconomics so first we will discuss mac micro and then macro will be discussed later.